What is happening guys? My name is Mike. Welcome back to the channel for an all new product review. Today we're taking a look at a new brand and a couple of their new products. This should be a very interesting and exciting review. So I'm really happy to have you guys here today. This is my review of the Lotus and Terracotta from White Label Grooming. All right, guys, once again, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about white label grooming. And before we jump into these products here, I felt the need to explain that this is the name of the brand. It has nothing to do with white label products or products that are described as white label. I think the name is actually in some way kind of a joke towards brands who participate in white label products. And really, if they were actually white label products, I wouldn't actually be reviewing them here on the channel anyway. So just so everybody knows, and that's all clear and good. These are not white label products. These are actually home brewed products. But before we jump into that and talk more about these products and the brand, I do want to real quick take a minute and acknowledge one of you awesome subscribers in today's subscriber spotlight. Today, the spotlight is on Tyler Davies and his awesome wavy quiff done all the way up with the Lockhart's matte clay. Huge thank you to Tyler for sending in that photo. I think it looks awesome. And as always, if you guys wanna send in a photo, instructions on how to do that is in the description for you guys to do so. Big thank you once again to Tyler for sending in that submission. I think your style looks awesome. Switching back over to these two products we're talking about today. Like I said a minute ago, these are homebrewed products. They are actually made by Mr. Tony Wynn, who you guys may remember as the guy I worked with on Nevermore with Steve Lockhart. He actually made the scent for that product Project, and I believe he's done scent work for other brands in the past as well. And so what we have here is him taking his knowledge and experience and putting it into his own brand. And I was very excited to take a look at these, especially after all the stuff that I've seen posted in the Everything Pomade group and other groups about terracotta. So let's get started as usual with a closer look at these products and some information. Here we go. Coming across my desk today is the Lotus and Terracotta from White Label Grooming. First up is the Terracotta. According to the brand, this is a water-based matte paste that offers a firm, pliable hold with matte finish. It also features good healthy ingredients that are designed to condition the hair and prevent it from drying out. Scent-wise, we're looking at a smooth cologne-type scent that is a blend of several different notes, and price-wise, we're looking at $19 for 3.7 ounces. Looking inside the jar, we get our first look at this matte paste, and appearance-wise, it looks pretty much as we can expect with the gray coloring, but scooping it out, we can see it has a very light consistency to it, pretty much lotion-like in fact. Breaking it down in the hand, I can further see that it's extremely smooth and creamy going down, and initially there's only a very light amount of tack visible, which gives us a good impression of how it's going to apply to the hair. Next up is the Lotus Styling Cream. Again, according to the brand, this is a water-based styling cream that offers a pliable firm hold with a natural light shine. It's also designed to leave the hair feeling healthy without feeling greasy and designed for both neat styles and natural high volume looks. For the scent, it is different than the terracotta, but it is a nicely blended cologne type scent and it comes in the same 3.7 ounce plastic jar for the same price of $19 US. Looking inside the jar on this one, we got a very different product than what we saw with the terracotta, which is not surprising, but where it does relate to its brother there is in the consistency, which I think is even a bit lighter here. It comes out very lotion-like and breaks down with a very light amount of tag visible in the hand. So what we got here is a matte paste and a styling cream. And of course, we're going to demo both for you right now. And as usual, I'm going to do one at a time so we can see each one individually and then follow up with endurance tests. We're going to start it off with the terracotta on dry hair. I'm running dry hair here on the terracotta for a couple of reasons. The first being that I prefer it. And the second reason I'll actually talk about here in a minute. But of course, I'm using nothing but dry hair here. And as I add in the first scoop, I'm actually very surprised 
surprised at how light it is. Not only in the application because it literally glides through my hair with no tug or anything like that, but it actually hardly feels like it's in my hair, which feels good, but when it comes to hold, it's not very productive, which is why more product is needed. This is for sure a layering product, meaning one that works the best when layered in. And after layering in three scoops, I can finally feel that hold setting in, and I think now it feels like I can finally style. Being as I did have to add in the three scoops though, some of that natural feeling has been replaced by dryness, which does increase the tug a little bit when I go to comb, but it's not bad at all, especially when I use a wide tooth comb, which I think really works better here and produces a nice looking style. Now, I think this one was very interesting for sure. At first, it felt like it wasn't going to hold my hair at all, but after a couple scoops, I finally began to feel the hold coming in and the dryness and texture and things like that. For now though, let's talk about the endurance and see how that texture and volume and everything that came in later held up throughout the day. At four hours in, I think the biggest change we can see here is the loss in volume. I think the air was just kinda let out a little bit, but overall the texture and good solid finish was still present and it has a good natural presence in the hair. At eight hours, it actually looks pretty much the same to me, which honestly isn't too bad. Here we can also see that some of that volume can actually be recovered with a little bit of finger combing as well. As far as damp hair goes on the terracotta, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't do it for this review. And the reason for that was for me, it just did nothing on damp hair. It's so lightweight and just really light holding for me that unless you use a lot of it, meaning to style on damp hair, I needed to use six or eight scoops of it. I just wasn't going to get any type of hold out of it, which doesn't work for my thick hair. And really by doing that as a secondary reason, you miss out on all the offerings of the clay in this product, the texture, the volume, things like that, which I guess could be a thick hair problem and could be something that I I just experienced, but for me, damper on this one was just pretty pointless. I was though curious about pre-styling with this, and so I did give that a go real quick because I'm always looking for reasons I can demonstrate why folks should be using a blow dryer. And after testing this out, I just gotta tell you guys, I can't say it any easier. If I apply it to damp hair and let it air dry, I get nothing. I apply it to damp hair and then blow dry, I get this right here. I really think this looks awesome. It's got great volume, texture, and actually I used one scoop less here here than the dry hair demo, so I only use two scoops here. I think this here as a pre-styler sets you up really well for a solid style foundation, and normally what I would do in this situation after this is grab something with a bit more hold and then seal up that style. Moving on now to the Lotus, I'll just go ahead and start this by saying this one too was not a contender for me with damp hair. As I've said before, every product gets tested multiple ways and usually I showcase both damp and dry hair styling here in these videos, but occasionally I'll get one like this that really only makes sense styling one way. And these in my opinion really fit that description and you'll see some of that also come out in the dry hair test. This cream is just as light in the hair for me as it was breaking down. Just like the first scoop of the terracotta too, it feels like nothing's there initially. As I layer in more scoops and even bigger scoops in fact, I do start to see some hold become more prevalent, but with that also comes this big dampening effect and a good helping of shine. Hold wise, it still isn't hardly sticky at all, but I do think that it's having somewhat of a controlled effect in my hair that's allowing for shape and styling. It's a classic case of control versus hold. Now again, I'm not sure if it's a thick hair problem or a thick hair thing with this one, but I just don't see a firm hold here. I see a light hold. Even with four scoops there, I still had a light hold. And I'm not knocking the product or saying it's all bad. The control was there in my hair and it was working very well with my hair's natural volume to create a pretty good shape. But without the natural volume, all you're left with is shine. That's actually almost greasy and little to no hold, which is why damp hair styling for me on this one too was pretty pointless. In the end, I think this one did rely a lot upon my thick hair and my hair's natural volume to actually work. And we'll talk more about this at the end when I give you guys my final thoughts on both of these, but let's take a second and check out how this one held up throughout the day. At four hours, there's really not much difference there in the style, except for the fact that I think it's deflated. Some of the volume has come out a bit and really the same goes for the style at eight hours in. I think we're just seeing a gradual deflation here by eight hours 
hours, it just deflated a lot more, but again, that's eight hours in. There's still a bit of control present there. So overall holding wise, it's really not too bad. As far as the scent goes on these two, I have to say, I think they're both very well done. The Lotus for my sensitive nose was a bit strong, but knowing Tony's background in scent making, it's no surprise to me that these have great scents. I think he's very talented in that department and I think these are both very well done. As far as the washout goes, I think the terracotta actually rinsed out a little better than the Lotus. It actually just came out with water and didn't actually put up any issues there. The Lotus though, I did notice left my hair feeling a bit oily until shampoo was introduced, which actually brought it right out. So you can kind of look at that either way. As far as my final thoughts go on these two regarding styling and performance, the Lotus for me just didn't quite work as well as I would have liked. And I think for me that just really comes from the fact that I didn't see the firm hold in my hair. I would agree that it is a pliable hold, but even with four scoops, I didn't see the firm hold. And the shine for me, I think, was still light overall, but I did think it made my hair feel a bit greasy and a bit stringy, which for some people I know works really good, especially if you're trying to control your thick hair or tame it in some way. I do think that it will help some people in that aspect, but if you're someone that really relies on that hold, all I can tell you is for me, the hold just wasn't there. But again, folks with thin hair, I think it's only fair to mention, folks with thinner hair could have a different experience. I think that's the case for this terracotta too, which out of the two, I think worked much better for me. It did take a little bit more product to style with than other matte paste out there, but I do think it did provide good shape, texture, volume, all the things that we love in a good clay product. And it works really awesome as a pre-styler. The only thing that maybe I'd say would be problematic for me with the terracotta could be the hold strength. Some folks with super thick hair, again, might find that to be problematic. With my level of thickness, I did find some good ways to put it to use. I think it did actually work fairly well for my hair. And again, thin hair folks, I think you guys are probably really going to enjoy this one with the amount of texture and volume that I can tell resides in the formula. In the end though, I do really enjoy Enjoy looking at products like this and I'm really glad Tony decided to send these out. It's always fun to see what the home brewing community is pumping out and if you guys would like to check out any of these I do have links and a discount in the description for you guys to check out if you're interested. Lastly too for those that might be interested I do have a friend of mine that started a promotion strategies company called Brosoft to assist YouTubers, content creators, influencers, all types of people basically in achieving exposure for social media or other content. They offer multiple services and packages to help people reach audiences, and I'm just wishing them the best of luck in their new venture. And if you're a creator or somebody that's coming up in the influencer community and you want to get some advice, I'll leave their email in the description for you guys to check out. But that is it though for today. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and checking out this video. I will be back with you guys again very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.